A stakeholder in, for a research study is simply anyone who cares about the outcomes or process of the study and is going to use the evidence that comes out of the study to inform health or healthcare decisions. Uh, so a stakeholder board is simply a, a collection of those different perspectives that advises the study team throughout the course of a study. The core reason for having a stakeholder board is to inform the study in such a way that the results coming out of it are relevant and important for the people that are going to use that evidence to make decisions. Uh, so that's always the, been the core reason and rationale for having a stakeholder board. There's a secondary reason, which is to facilitate the study itself, and this is particularly important in large clinical trials and pragmatic trials. There's lots of different individuals who um, play a role in the successful completion of the study. And if you include their perspectives early on, you can often um, prevent some of the barriers to completing clinical research that frequently come up. You're always going to have to include clinician and patient representatives on a stakeholder board. Within those two groups, there are different categories. So when we're talking about patients, we're also we're talking about um, individuals who have had the particular um, disease or condition that's being studied. Um, we're talking about family members or caregivers as well, and then also representatives from advocacy organizations who may understand um, the perspectives of large groups of patients as opposed to one individual patient. So in, often including a mix of those perspectives is helpful. And on the clinician side, it's even more complex because um, when you're thinking about the clini clinical decision-making process and um, how interventions are delivered, there can be numerous types of clinicians involved. So there's primary care physicians and then there's in a, a wide array of medical specialties that may be involved um, in a particular area. And then also, the, the, apart from the physicians, there's all of the other clinical staff, um, nurses, um, administrators, um, other folks that have an important perspective. It's really important to think about individuals who use the evidence to make decisions about large populations of patients as opposed to that individual uh, clinical decision making. And one important stakeholder category in that group is healthcare payers who rely heavily on the evidence from studies to inform their uh, coverage and policy decisions. And uh, within payers, it's important to think about both private insurers as well as public payers, um, such as Medicare and Medicaid. Another area of a policymaker that's important um, is guideline developers, and frequently this is uh, professional societies uh, that develop clinical guidelines in different areas who use the evidence from studies to set those guidelines, which then have a really big impact on clinical care um, and, and on patient outcomes. Industry can be really valuable stakeholders depending on the particular study question and the interventions that are involved. They bring a lot of clinical expertise um, and also might use the results of, of studies to inform their future product development. Um, I, one caution is that if you are including industry perspectives, it's important to include a balance so that the conversation isn't dominated by one particular organization.